So it is my favorite time of the month, which is my empties videos. So these are my November empties. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. I actually have quite a few products this month, and a lot of them are um, more beauty related. So I was very impressed. Okay, so we'll start out with a hair product. This is the Uni System... Uh, this is the smoothing fluid, just straightening fluid. I got this a long time ago at um, Sally's Beauty, and it has lasted me a super, super long time. It has a very, very fruity scent, which is really nice. I really, really enjoy the, the scent. It's very fruity, very like sweet and candy-like. And I do think that it is a good straightening, uh, you know, spray. I, I thought it made my hair feel soft and nice and that it was helping to prevent damage. So, and this says it was $17.98, but I doubt I probably paid that. I probably, it was probably on sale or something like that. And I, as I said, it was a long time ago. Another product, I'm just digging right in. This is another Marc perfume, and Marc is a part of Avon. And this is the Rio Bikini Instant Vacation. And it was uh, a orange color perfume. And I really, really, really did enjoy this perfume. It was very beachy, and it had a very, very unique scent to it. But it just totally reminds me of like suntan lotion and the beach and kind of has like, kind of like a coconut smell to it. It's just really, really nice. And I was kind of bummed to finish this one out, but it had to happen. I've had it for quite some time. So it was time to go, but it was a sad parting. <laughs> uh, next, we have a macadamia. Natural oil, this is the healing oil treatment, and uh, this is kind of the, this is the one fluid ounce bottle, and it lasted a really, really long time. You only need a small amount of this oil, and I just put it on after I got out of the shower just to add some healing um, aspects to my hair, and I think it made it a little bit softer, too. I do really enjoy this line. I think the scent is really nice too. It's more on the floral side as well with like a little, um, it's like a little sharper of a floral scent, but I thought it was very nice, so I enjoyed it. I think I have like two or three more of them. I seem to always get them in like uh, birch boxes and different subscription boxes. Okay, so this is a, um, I'm going to totally mess up the name. But, <laughs> I'm just going to let you read it yourself. It is a foot cream. And I use this as, well, I didn't use it as much I made. <laughs> I made the boyfriend rub my feet with this. And it was very nice because it was kind of, um, it had kind of like a medicated scent to it. And I think I just got some all over me, but it was very kind of, medicated smelling which I really enjoy that kind of smell very medicinal and it kind of just really helped to relax your muscles and your feet and really just was really nice very soothing so I enjoyed this I got this in one of my um, subscriptions I think it was test uh, test tube one uh, let's see, next, oh, this is my Immunicology Treatment Cream. Uh, I use, I showed this in my daily skincare routine, and I got this again in one of my test tubes, and you can't see anything in it because it is empty, but this was a face cream. Uh, I thought it was, I thought it was very nice. It is super, super expensive. It's one of those ones that's like... For the full size, it's in the hundreds. So I won't be repurchasing it just because I don't think that's necessary. And I still have a ton of other uh, lotions to use that are samples. So, But I do think that this is nice and it did make my um, face 
very smooth and soft, but I don't think for that amount of money it's necessary. Uh, this is a little sample. This is the, I've talked about the Burt's Bees Intense Hydration line, and I received one of the uh, little samples with it too, because I didn't receive the day cream itself, so I received a sample of it. And this tiny little sample seriously lasted me like a week and a half, two weeks because you only need a small amount with this too and it was very nice very light for a day cream um i used it after i um you know would wash my face in the morning and just put this on right before i would apply like my makeup and everything like that and it was very nice very moisturizing so i probably will be purchasing the full size product of this um okay so now i have a sample of the sephora this is their waterproof eye makeup remover. And we all know that I'm obsessed with my coconut oil, but I do have like this one. I had some samples of uh, makeup removers. And I really, really, really love this makeup remover. I think it is super, super gentle. It doesn't, I have kind of more sensitive everything so um, this didn't burn my eyes at all and it did do a fantastic job getting off all of my eyeliner all of my mascara mind you I don't use a lot of waterproof items uh, just because I don't I just I'm not a fan um, so when it comes to like mascara and stuff like that and heavy-duty eyeliners that are waterproof but I I definitely do think that it would get it off like a drain because it took off any of my other makeup super smoothly, super amazingly. So I would for sure repurchase this item in a second. I mean, I do use my coconut oil, so I don't really know if I really need it, but I would, 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 would repurchase it and I highly suggest it. Uh, then I have a e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. And I actually have two of these. This one I received and the, um, the little pump was broken. So I just emailed e.l.f. and they sent me a brand new one uh, right afterwards. But I was like, I can still get some product out of this. So I kind of would just open it up and, um, you know, scrape out as much as I could out of there. I... Looking down in there, there's still probably some in there, but it's just, I, I mean, it would be very, very <laughs> intense to try to grab all of that out and use every single ounce of it, so I didn't think that was necessary, but I do um, really like this primer. I think it is, for the price, a really nice primer. It is more of the silicone feel, so if you don't like the really silicone-y uh, primers, you probably wouldn't enjoy this one. But I do think that for the price, I think it's $6 uh, normally, but of course, e.l.f. always has crazy, amazing sales, so you can definitely get it for a lot cheaper. Uh, but for our primer, I think for the price, and if you do like the silicone -y feeling, which I, I do, uh, I think it's great. So, definitely something to look into. Another e.l.f. product, this is their Tone Correcting uh, Concealer. And this is in the color Rosy Beige. And I, um, it probably looks like they're still in there, but that's just kind of how the packaging is. I really did actually like this concealer. I liked it, though, just for my under eye circles. I thought it was, it's a very, very thin um, consistency. And for my under eye, I think because it has a little bit more of an orange a tone to a kind of a greeny orange tone. I think that it was nice to help conceal my under eye circles and I did enjoy it for that. I though did not like it for my blemishes. It just kind of as soon as I would put it on there, it is a DOFA applicator, but even when I would, you know, put it on the blemishes, if I tried to like kind of gently blend it in, it just kind of disappeared because it is so thin. So I wouldn't suggest it for me and for people who do have a lot of like, um, you know, problem areas or hyperpigmentation or something like that that they really want to try to cover up. I wouldn't highly suggest it for that. But I do think that it was good for my under eye concealing. So I think it was a dollar. I, I would try it again um, and I would suggest it. 
Okay, we got... <laughs> so this is my CVS Banaka, as I like to call it. It's just, you know, a, a mint spray. I'm addicted to this stuff. I love mints. I love, um, you know, any kind of minty stuff in my mouth. When the, with the holidays coming, candy canes are basically like my favorite candy, which is kind of bizarre probably, but I love candy canes, especially the little mini ones. So I love mint. Uh, this is Mint Breeze, and it is just, you know, a little spray like Banaka, and this is a CVS spray brand. It says it has 70 plus sprays in there, and I just love keeping it in my purse. I've already repurchased it. There's already another one in my purse, so obviously love that. All right. Um, we've got my Stila Major Last Mascara in black, which you have seen in a lot of my tutorials and videos. Uh, this did hit its three-month mark, so I threw this away. Well, I haven't thrown it away yet, but it's in the empties. I really did love the packaging. I love how sleek it is. And I really did like the mascara a lot. I thought it was just a very nice, um, it is, you know, a smaller, thinner brush, but I think it did give a lot of volume and a lot of length. So I do think that it is a fantastic mascara. Uh, will I repurchase it in the future? It is definitely a possibility. I've, you know, got a lot of mascaras to go through, so I'm not in a major hurry to purchase it. But I do think that it is um, a nice one to invest in. Alright, next we got another e.l.f. product. This is one of their 24 karat uh, collection lip glosses. It doesn't have the name on there. Um, it was just part of one of their collection, their, their uh, gift sets. It was a very pretty color. Um, not one of my favorite colors on me particularly. It's a brown, um, but it's kind of more of a like a yellow based brown I would say so I mean I I went through it and I liked it um, but probably not the most appealing um, on me uh, has very very um, candy like scent to it but I do think that the pigmentation of it I probably can get a little bit more on there well maybe not I think the pigmentation of it was um, nice it would, normally when it was full, it was a little bit thicker than that. But um, good pigmentation. Again, very inexpensive, nice lip gloss. Uh, probably wouldn't repurchase the color, but I've got like a crazy ton of elf lip glosses. So, you know, I would repurchase something of that nature. Uh, this is another elf. I've got a lot of elf going on this month. This is another elf. This is the Luscious Liquid Lip and this is in Ruby Slipper. Um, the writing is so small, I'm not going to even attempt it. But I really, really, really enjoyed this lips. It's kind of like a lip stain. Um, I think they advertise it as. And it's got that um, kind of more interesting applicator on it where it comes out of the little holes. Um, I don't think I can get any more out of there. But it was a, just a really pretty, no I can't, but a really deep just kind of ruby color as it describes. I really enjoyed it. It was more of a brown based uh, red, but still very deep and very pretty. So, and I really do like these particular um, elf lip stick stains, you know, whatever they say it is. But really do like it. I think I have a few other colors, but I would repurchase this color again. Ho oh, ho, surprise, surprise. Uh, another <laughs> e.l.f. product. This is the Hyper Shine Gloss, and this is in Fairy. And this has kind of a similar packaging concept, except this is more like the uh, Stila um, lipsticks, where it has that Kind of brush like applicator and this again I used it all up so I can't really get anything out there I doubt you're gonna you might see a little bit of shine right there but this was a very very just light light shimmery um, 
color that I either would wear alone or to kind of spice up like a deeper darker color so I really do like these lip um, glosses in general I think they're fantastic they're just a dollar uh, they have a huge range of colors so I do love these and I did really like this color as well and last but not least is again something that you've seen in a lot of my uh, videos for my tutorials and stuff and this is the Marbella permanent eyeliner pen and it's like my infamous uh, elf eyeliner pen where it kind of looks kind of like a sharpie uh, I do think that this was very nice as well um, it lasted a long time well it's actually coming out so that the, it looks like there's still a lot of product in there too but it was getting kind of spotchy um, while I was using it plus I've had it for a while so I decided it was time to go uh, this is more um, now it totally looks like I have a lot more of it left but it's probably because it's been sitting in the bag for a while but um, I do think that this was very nice it is a more thicker um, like applicator than the elf one so you get a thicker line if you want or you can use the tip for a thinner line I do think that this was a nice eyeliner pen for sure um, I'm not 100% sure on the price of it but I think for what it probably isn't a dollar so I would still go with my elf one um, for sure just because it's a dollar and I think it is super fantastic but I do think that this one was really nice as well so if I were to get another one or if I were to find a really good deal on it I would purchase it but if I had to choose between I would definitely go with the elf because just to cost wise it just makes more sense so that is all of the goodies that I had for this month um, I am really proud of myself again for <laughs> using so many products and I was excited to have a lot of like lips uh, products and like more like beauty products to have finished and I'm um, already getting excited to start on my December empties so if you have an empties videos please link it below for a video response I love 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 watching these videos they are my absolute favorite if you have any products that you've used up this month and um, you know you really enjoyed or you're super excited to be done with it definitely leave a comment below and let me know um, again like this video if you enjoy seeing these empties as much as I enjoy doing them and don't forget to subscribe and I think you can subscribe somewhere on the top uh, very quick and easy and if you enjoy seeing my videos I would love to have you as a subscriber so uh, as always I will see you in one of my next videos bye